Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So in the last video we learned how we can create elevation effects and background blur effects and add them to our effect styles so we can reuse them in the future. Make sure to check that video out. As you can see we have different types of style also. I made sure that the shadows are super smooth. We don't need any harsh shadows. And yeah. And if you want to see uh, the other videos about how we cre created color tokens and spacings in variables and also how we created the typography system as well as our color palette and th these are, are added to our variables so we can use it in the future so yeah, make sure to check the playlist out I'm gonna put the link down in the description and in this video actually it's gonna be a part one on how you can create the bottom variants and add them to your components so you can reuse them easily all right first we need to figure out what type of variants we need I mean uh, what type of properties so let's rename it to properties yeah so when creating a component and adding variants and different types of uh, properties uh, you need to know what exactly you need to add uh, for your button so I, I listed all the things that you need here for a like primary button and you, then you can like just copy that and change the name to like secondary and add the color it's gonna be super easy after we have a base icon alright so uh, let's go ahead and see what's needed here so the first property is the label uh, which is the button you can change it in your design so I'm gonna add the input actually uh, so you can change it inside the inside the button so you don't need to like uh, tap on the text and edit it um, twice and um, then there's the icon alignment which is um, no icon left left justified right right justified and icon only and there's also instant swap for the icon make sure so before doing this you need to add uh, an icon set to your design system so I already added it. You can find it in Figma community, which is the unicorns. Which is, it's a super nice free uh, icon set that you can use. And uh, yeah, you can use any icons, but just this is a super important. You need to make sure these the icons are added as components so you can use them uh, as instant swap. That is super important. Otherwise. Uh, there is going to be a lot of manual work if you use uh, even if you use like uh, plugins to add icons make sure to create components out of them so you can add them to your design system you don't need to you don't want to add any manual work while designing because that's going to be super frustrating anyhow yeah just make sure there are components and all good uh, let's go back then we have the state which is going to be default hover focus active and disabled then we have the style peel style so sometimes you want the button to be fully rounded so its corners should be fully rounded you have also it's a boolean which is going to be false or true and uh, we have the outline again uh, false or true and the size so uh, quickly let's go ahead and create our first button so I'm just going to hit T on keyboard and create a text and call it a button. And as you can see, I can easily, now you can see the beauty of all the variables and um, text styles that we added here. So in the links, uh, actually link or button, so they're same style. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose link to an, and also for the 14 one, make sure that line height is set to 24 so you can easily manage the spacing in the bottom so yeah let's go ahead and create it I'm gonna hit um, shift A and create an auto light from it I'm not gonna touch anything right now I'm just gonna go ahead and create a component out of this one I'm gonna rename it to primary button or button doesn't matter primary button because we, we're going to use the other styles too in future and then and now what I'm going to do is go to the assets and uh, add an icon to it so I'm going to search for an icon maybe a profile 
just a sample I can just show like how it look like so I'm going to I'm just gonna cut this using command or control X and paste it inside of it command and control V and now I'm gonna actually create these ones for the, uh, these properties inside of it so let's go ahead and add another pro add a property which is gonna be the text and that's gonna be label the value is gonna be button same as this one and now let's connect this one to label and let's let me show you how it's gonna work so let's this is a button right now I'm not, I'm not gonna style I just want to show you how it's gonna sh um, like work so I'm just gonna find it in my components button and drag and drop it here so if you want to edit the text of this icon one of the things you can do is just double click double click and to select the text or like hold control command and select this again double click but that's gonna be a little bit tedious when you have too many items in a design so I'm just gonna select this one and you can see that there is a value here that says label I, I just created it here as, as you saw I'm just gonna change it to continue for example and that's it easily you don't need to like double click double click you just select and change it here yeah that that's one of the um, advantages of using a uh, using variants on figma all right i'm just going to do the same with the icon too so i don't have to change it any like every time by selecting the this icon all right so i'm just going to create another property but it's going to be instant swap um, because we already have the component for it in our icons and it's gonna be called icon and when picking an instant I'm just gonna choose the profile one all right create property and that's it now I need to connect this can uh, icon to that um, property so let's go ahead and do that and apply instant to our property it's gonna be icon again let's test it out let's drag and drop the button from the, our components I'm gonna change the button to continue and maybe outline to arrow left arrow right something like that all right you can see that it easily get you know gets updated and that's gonna help us a lot while designing something all right that's it for the actually for the this icon let's um, create other variants which is gonna be the because we, we are creating these from scratch so let's go ahead with the icon alignment since we have a base so the variant uh, the property is gonna be icon alignment now we can actually give uh, the looks of our icon a little of style so now you can see we're gonna use variables here which is gonna be super helpful in future so let's apply variable for the gap actually for the uh, spacing and gap I'm gonna go with 8 pixels which is okay for the height I'm gonna go with 16 and then for the um, left and right paddings I'm gonna go with actually that that was like the uh, top and bottom paddings and now we're gonna go with the left and right paddings I'm gonna go with 24 let's increase the size of this a little bit because we're gonna add more variants here all right now let's add a background to it so let's uh, find our fill and again the beauty of the variables you can see I have all my tokens here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, find a surface color and select the default and as you can see we have a, a color as our bottom background let's change the uh, color of the values too so I'm gonna go with text and I'm gonna choose negative you can change the name of this but negative means that you sometimes you need to use the uh, white text all right and now I'm gonna uh, set a border radius for it so again I'm gonna go in my variables and find corner radius and I can easily add maybe like 12 or something yep 
that looks okay and let's just duplicate this one to complete the icon alignment property so it's going to be control D align it to the right a little bit it's going to be like oops all right how many were none one two three four five and okay six another one all right the first one doesn't have any um, icon so I'm gonna delete that the second one is left aligned which is okay the, the third one is left justified so what's left justified so when I inc like um, increase the width of the button you can see that the left and right padding gets increased but I want the spacing between these to get increased so I want this to be dynamically um, changed Th this also exists in the CSS uh, using um, flex system so it's basically similar so I'm just gonna go ahead and in the gaps I'm gonna hit on the drop down and set it as auto and now if I increase the width of this one you can see that the spacing gets um, less and you know get gets increased and decreased all right that's it so left justified is created now let's go ahead with the fourth button which is the right icon actually let's rename this so this is the icon alignment none left left justified I'm gonna change this I'm just gonna select the button text and hit left arrow key now it's gonna be right same here but uh, right justified make sure to set the gap as auto so you can see it's yeah changing and the last one is basically icon only so I'm going to delete the text and make sure this is full square not uh, rectangle so I'm going to go to the spacing left and right spacing and set it the same as the top and bottom so it's going to be 16 all right, and let's call it to, let's change the text to icon only. All right, now we have created our first properties. It's going to be a super long video if I continue here. So um, I, I've divided this to two parts. Uh, let's pause it here. And for the rest of these, I'm going to see you in another video. Cheers.